From here on, nothing goes down unless I'm involved. No blackjack, no dope deals, no nothing. A nickel bag gets sold in the park. I want in. So Three-yard game, bring up second down and seven. Fake it to Boyd over the middle. Pass is caught and a big collision. They'll say incomplete. That was Hudson Hidry, the redshirt freshman who got walloped. Right as he got his hands on the football, and he is shaking that one off. Yeah, the Wally bet Richard LeCount coming right in here, and look at him coming in with that shoulder, not using his helmet, and puts his shoulder right on that football and knocks that ball out. Definitely would have won back, though. He had a chance for a big play. Burks comes in motion across the formation. Franks coming near side, will loft it up in the air, and has his man. Burks stays in back. Arkansas, 49 yards. I mentioned it. There's nothing that you can put on Felipe Frank that he hasn't seen. And let's just watch it. Does he step on the outline here? Oh, he does a good job of staying in bounds. And it looks like Richard LeCount just lost it when Felipe Franks got outside the pocket. And look at the pinpoint accuracy there by Felipe Franks dropping it down on Burks. Talking about him being a big time playmaker in this offense. Pass is picked off. Richard LeCount dropped around the 15 yard line. He led the team with four picks a year ago, comes up with number one of 2020, and the dogs are in business. The count has been a ball hawk since he's been at the University of Georgia, but watch the feet of Franks. Watch how he gets a little uncomfortable inside and just try to throw off that back foot and gets inaccurate and overthrows it and leads to the interception. If he stands in there and just throws this football right on target, he has a completion. But a little antsy in the pocket, forcing that. And we just talked about the hits on him that he started to accumulate here in this first quarter. Maybe that contributed to him throwing off the back shoulder. Back, back foot, excuse me. The senior decided to come back for his final campaign. A lot of folks thought he might have declared for the NFL draft a year ago. But he said not so fast. Dude, that big, not supposed to be a move like that, dude. I'm just saying. Boy, he's got star written all over him. Franks will dump it off. Nice play on the outside by Richard LeCount. Not fooled by that. It makes a nice play. The All-American safety. It hurt this Georgia offense and defense. 93 penalty yards. Georgia has a total of 118 yards of offense. Felipe Franks directed traffic by some time. Will throw back. Caught at the 40-yard line by Burks. What a play by Felipe Franks. Gets outside the pocket and directs it and then shoots it to Burks on the outside. I mean, that's a veteran play. That's a guy who played a lot of football. He wanted all guys being aggressive at that football. Felipe Franks coming near side. Akeem Boyd trying to get the edge and he'll be knocked out of bounds, but he'll pick up five yards. Set up a second down. Got the lineup, and I thought towards the end of the year when he won those six ball games, he kind of found himself in what he needed to do. Franks hit as he throws. Burks breaks the tackle, turns the corner, and he is pushed out of bounds near midfield. A little double pass, so that's what they're trying to do. Burks heaves it up in the air, and that one is picked off by the dogs again. Richard LeCount for the second time today. Just a situation where you got to know not to throw the football. It wasn't there from the beginning. Georgia did not fall for it. Richard LeCount was sitting back there waiting on it the entire time. He gets his second interception of the day. And untimely for Arkansas here. And you can see this developing from the start. It was a slow adjusting play. And you can tell he wanted to throw it from the beginning whenever you got to throw it off your back foot. And you got two guys back there, probably not a good idea to throw. How about Richard LeCount with the one hand? Wow. He gets him a, a top ten play with that one handed catch there. That is uh, four interceptions in his last two games. He had two at the Sugar Bowl, two today.
Time to take a look at Winning with Style, brought to you by Belk. And for that, we'll go to Georgia's All-American safety, Richard LeCount. His second interception of the game, and clearly his best one. Dude is a ball hawk. I mean, nothing else to say about it. Usually DBs don't have really good hands, but Richard LeCount may be a little bit different. Three tackles, a couple of interceptions. For the 5'11", 190-pound senior in Riceboro, Georgia.